Sorry about that. I didn't realize that I was running out of time, but I want to finish this example for you. So now we're going to do it again with this guy. And so we're going to get um, negative 14 times negative 2 times negative 8. And then we're going to have 5 times 7 times 15. And then we're going to get negative 6 times 47. times negative 6. So some big numbers there. Then we're going to subtract and go this direction 15 negative 2 negative 6 um, negative 6 7 negative 14 And negative 8, 47, 5. All right. So when they try the right numbers, negative 14, negative 2, negative 8, 5, 7, 15, negative 6, 47, negative 6. Then we've got the other direction, 15, negative 2, negative 6, negative 6, 7, negative 14, negative 8, 47, 5. So now we're going to multiply to get these values. So we've got negative 14 times negative 2 times negative 8 is going to give us negative 224. 5 times 7 times 15 is 525. And then negative 6 times 47 times negative 6 is 1692. Um, down here we've got 15 times negative 2 times negative 6, 180. Negative 6 times 7 times negative 14, 588. And negative 8 times 47 times 5 negative 1880. So our final answer here will be um, negative 224 plus 525 plus 1692 minus 180 minus 588 and minus negative 1880. And we get 3105. All right? So now, I'm going to have to um, erase a lot of what's over here so that I can finish the dy and the dz. We're running out of space here, so I'm going to erase this. Okay, so right now we know that D was equal to 621 and DX was equal to 3105. And then we can erase all this. Okay. And now we want DY and we want DZ. So remember the dy is to keep the x column, so we're going to keep 4, 3, 7. Um, but you want to take the y column and replace it with the constants. So negative 14, 47, and 15. And the z column you want it to stay negative 6, 7, negative 8. And then the z, you want um, the x column to stay the same, so 4, 3, 7. Um, the um, y column will stay the same. So 5, negative 2, negative 6. And then the z column will get replaced with the constants, which is negative 14, 
47 and 15. And then we just do it all over again. So I'll try to do that as quickly as I can without compromising you being able to understand what's happening. I'm rewriting the first two columns for each matrix. And then we're going to do our diagonals. So we're going to get 4 times 47 times negative 8. And then we're going to get negative 14 times 7 times 7. And then we're going to get negative 6 times 3 times 15. Then we're going to go in the other direction. And we're going to get minus 7 times 47 times negative 6 minus 15 times 7 times 4 and negative 8 times 3 times negative 14. Just want to check again, 4, 47, negative 8, negative 14, 7, 7, negative 6, 3, 15, negative, oh, so 7, 47, negative 6, 15, 7, 4, negative 8, 3, negative 14. Perfect. So now we're going to go through here with our calculator and go 4 times 47 times negative 8 is negative 15, 0, 4. Um, negative 14 times 7 times 7 is negative 686. And negative 6 times 3 times 15 is negative 270. And then over here, 7 times 47 times negative 6 is negative 1974. And then 15 times 7 times 4 is 420 and negative 8 times 3 times negative 14 is 336. So now our final answer for dy, we'll put it up here actually, is going to be negative 1504 plus negative 686 plus negative 270 minus negative 1974 minus 420 minus 336 and you get negative 1242 so negative 1242 all right and now we have one more to do and then we can be on our way so we'll do this last one right there so we'll do 4 times negative 2 times 15, and then 5 times 47 times 7, and negative 14 times 3 times negative 6, and then go backwards with our arrows. So we'll get 7 times 2, negative 2, and negative 14, and negative 6, 47, and 4, and 15, 3, and 5. Just want to double check that I got all the answers, the numbers right. 4, negative 2, 15. 5, 47, 7, negative 14, 3, negative 6. For the red, we've got 7, negative 2, negative 14, negative 6, 47, 4, 15, 3, 5. So now we're just going to go through here and go 4 times negative 2 times 15 is negative 120. 5 times 47 times 7 is 16, 45. And negative 14 times 3 times negative 6 is 252. And then 7 times negative 2 times negative 14 is 196. 
negative 6 times 47 times 4 is negative 1128. And 15 times 3 times 5 is 225. So we're going to get negative 120 plus 1645 plus 252 minus 196 minus negative 1128 and then minus 225 and we get 2484. So that means that dz is equal to 2484. And so we need some space again, so we're going to get rid of this guy. To get our final answer, that's the easy part. So, the last thing we want to do is get x is going to equal dx, which is 3105, divided by d, which is 621 y is going to equal dy, which is negative 1242, divided by 621. And then z is going to equal dz, which is 2484, divided by 621. So now we're just going to calculate those last little things. 3105, divided by 621, is 5, negative 1242, divided by 621, is negative 2. And 2484 divided by 621 is a whopping 4. So our final answer is x5, y negative 2, and z4. And that is how you do Kramer's rule for a 3 by 3. So now you can try these two on your own. And once you've done that, you will have completed your notes for this lesson. And I will see you in class. And thank you for watching.